Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to look at something brand new and that was uh, probably a lot of people were waiting for is Outlook for iOS uh, by Microsoft Corporation. Outlook being a very very uh, popular email client email program for uh, PC users and business users in general. Um, and even business users using Macs, um, a lot of them are using Outlook for the uh, compatibility in the uh, business sector. And um, it is finally available uh, for iPads and iPhones. Uh, free, which is very nice. It is 22.5 megabyte download. Requires iOS 8 or better, which means that you need uh, the latest devices for it to work. And uh, once you download it, you get a nice little app, a blue app called Outlook. It is a very nice app. It includes pretty much every um, options that you will find on the Outlook in the PC, um, including, of course, your mail and, you know, a nice way to actually um, work with your mail. You can uh, save your mail and your attachments to your OneDrive and even better if you look at um, files here at the bottom, you have access to uh, either your OneDrive if you have a uh, you know Microsoft account. You can also add a Dropbox or a Google Drive if that's, if that's what you're, you're using or you know sharing with other people. And so it's very nice so you can actually get files from there uh, if you need to you know put a attachment in an email but you can go in your Dropbox Google Drive or OneDrive and get the uh, email attachment you also have the um, possibility to save your files and documents that you receive through emails in those spots it includes the famous calendar from Outlook which always uh, been quite popular and it uh, is very nice and very well made so you can actually you know work with appointments add appointments and so on and the of course integrate with all the different accounts that you'll add so if you add a Gmail account for example you will have a synchronization of your uh, Google Calendar for example into Outlook um, of course you have the people setting which is pretty much your contacts that are um, you know received from pretty much everywhere that you log on to that is synced with your Microsoft's accounts and so on and of course all the settings of the accounts that you can uh, add uh, for OneDrive for email and so on it is a very complete piece of software it works very well it's very easy to manage so when you have for example an email it's very easy to uh, you know either click on the um, the delete on the upper right or you can of course just swipe and archive the conversation if you want and so you can create all sorts of folder depending on what you are going to do it is quite fast works pretty well and um, after trying it for a little bit I am um, probably going to move my emails from the iPhone's own mail program into the Outlook uh, from now on as I find it uh, quite convenient and quite easy to use. If you click you have access to all of the folders that you will have on any email accounts so that's also pretty cool and um, finally works of course with the Microsoft Exchange uh, so if you're in a, a business environment and everybody's using um, Outlook, you can uh, use Exchange so that everything syncs perfectly uh, on your iPad or iPhone. So Outlook is here for iOS and it's free, which is very nice because, um, you know, they could have actually um, charged something for this. And of course, because you are using all the uh, Microsoft services is probably the reason why it's free. So uh, 
If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed of new videos online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, by subscribing, of course, you will be um, notified every time we post new videos online. Hope you enjoy. If you have an app of your own that you'd like us to review, let us know. I'll try to post that video online. So this was Outlook for iOS. It's finally here. Hope that uh, you will find that it's so interesting. So thank you for watching.